Hello and welcome. I'm Marina. And I'm Evelyn. We're your hosts for GLS TV. Now over to Abby with the weather. Thank you, Evelyn and Marina. Hello, my name is Abby. I'm going to be your weather reporter. Today on Friday, we have partial cloudy, high 72s, low 50s. And next on Saturday, we have cloudy, high 73s, low 51s. Here on Sunday, we have partial cloudy, high 72s, low 49s. Now on Monday, we have raining, of course, high 64s, low 45s. Next on Tuesday, it's the same. You know it. The rain is coming. And on, yeah, on that, it's high 63s, low 40s. And on the last one, Thursday, it's going to be raining. High 64, low 44. And over to Evie and Marina for something that's super popular with the kids at school. These are hair time dolls. They're dolls that we've been making. They're so much fun to make them and play with them. Over to the interview with Evie. Robbie. Hi, I'm Evelyn. Hi, I'm Robbie. And I'm Maud. Maud, would you like to tell us where you're from? Sure, yeah, I'm from Holland. What languages do you speak? I speak Dutch, which is my native language, and I also speak English, which you may have noticed, and I speak German and French as well. Why did you decide to come to the school? Um, well, I knew Lisa and Ben from high school. I went to high school in Berlin in Germany, and Lisa and Ben taught there. And Lisa was actually my soccer and basketball coach, and a few years ago I heard about this school and I thought it was really interesting. Um, and then I became a teacher, and so this year I decided I would come here and learn more about self-directed education. What do you like about the school so far? I really like that students can decide what they want to learn. Uh, so that students get involved in all sorts of different activities. Everyone's constantly going around the school and doing different things and learning different things. Um, and it's really different from what I'm used to. Do you play a sport or have a pet? Yeah, I, um, I really like climbing. Uh, that's what I've been doing most uh, lately. But I also really like soccer and running and all sports, really. And I don't have a pet myself at the moment, but my parents have a dog uh, that I grew up with called Dido, and she's a Bernie's mountain dog, and she's really cute. Nice. Well, thank you for doing this interview with us. It meant a lot. Thank you. This is what the students do during the day at school. Like and subscribe. Goodbye. Hello and welcome. I'm Marina and I'm Evelyn. And I'm your hobby. Hobby. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Marina. What? Evie, does okay, okay. Wow, I can. I'm still. <laughs> wow, I can. I'm still. Wow, I can still hear that music in my head. Yeah. Any local news? 
Sadly, yes, in a hayfield near Pine Haven lay an insane Ignatius, a single-engine 1962 Beechcraft Bonanza airplane struck a power line and crashed. Did anyone get hurt? Unfortunately, yes, three occupants were killed in the crash. Timothy R. Arnold, 59 years old, Grant... <laughs> You made it so far. So close. You okay, made it one so more time, far. One more time. How do I pronounce this last name? Ground. Wow, I can still hear the music in my head. Yeah, that was just great. Any local news? Sadly, yes. In a. Second, I did. Thank you, Marina and Abby. I am Abby Poppins, and today I'll be doing the weather. On uh, Friday, we have a uh, high 70 yeah, Thank you, Marina and Abby. I am Abby Poppins, and today I will be doing the weather. On Friday, oh, it will be partial cloudy. Uh, 70.